Hello, today we're going to look at some division where algebra is involved. And we're going to start out by looking at multiply, but in a slightly different way than we're familiar with. So let's just jump right into our questions. We have 2a, 2 multiplied by a, multiplied by something is equal to 6a cubed. So 6 multiplied by a, multiplied by a, multiplied by a, a multiplied by itself three times. So what would I need to multiply 2a by to end up with 6a cubed? Well, we're always going to start the same way. How would we get the numbers right? So 2 multiplied by what would give me 6? Well, 2 multiplied by 3 would give me 6. And a multiplied by what would give me a cubed? Well, at the moment I have 1a here, and I want to end up with 3a's multiplied together in total. So I'd need to multiply that by a squared, because if I have a multiplied by a multiplied by a, in total I have three a's multiplied together. And my little number up here tells me how many times I've multiplied a by itself. So let's put that into practice again. I start out with a squared, so a multiplied by a, and what do I have to multiply it by to end up with three a to the power of five? So five a's multiplied together. Well, let's start with the numbers. There's no obvious number written here, so I know that secretly there is a 1. So 1 multiplied by what gives me 3? Well, 3 multiplied by 1 gives me 3. And a squared multiplied by what will give me a to the power of 5? Well, I start out with 2 a's, I end up multiplying 5 a's together, so I must have multiplied by 3 a's. So that's how we've done this one. Now here we've got two letters, but we're just going to do one after the other after the other. There's nothing really different in this question. And we have our empty bracket in front, but again, it makes no odds. So I start out with 7x squared multiplied by y, and I end up with 14x cubed y cubed. Always start with the number. 7 multiplied by what gives me 14? 7 multiplied by 2 gives me 14. x squared multiplied by what would give me x cubed? Well, I have two x's multiplied together here, and I end up with three x's multiplied together, so I must have had just x to the power of 1, or x. So I'd end up with three x's multiplied together when I do that multiply. And then I start off with 1y, and I end up with y cubed, so I must have started out here y squared. So I had two y's multiplied together, multiplied by another y gives me three y's multiplied together. So this is the same reasoning we're going to have to do when we do division. So that's why we started out with those questions, because they can be easier to picture. Now let's do some actual full-on division. If I have 15m squared divided by 3m, I'm I'm going to start by dividing my numbers, so 15 divided by 3 is going to give me 5, and m squared divided by m. Well, I had two m's multiplied together, and I divided out one of them, so I'm just left with 1m. And here, so that's the job done, here I have 10a cubed b divided by 10ab. A, 10 multiplied by a multiplied by b. So I have 10 divided by 10. Well, any number divided by itself is just 1. I have a cubed divided by a to the power of 1. So I have 3 a's multiplied together here, uh, and I'm dividing by 1a. So I'm left with 2 a's. And I have b divided by b. Well, b is just a number. I might not know what b is, but it is some number. So some number divided by itself must be 1. So I'm just left with 1 a squared. And I can write in that b divided by b is 1 if I like. So I have my 1's multiplied by a here, and I would tend to just write that as a squared. So that's my normal algebra division. But if I get bigger bits of division, there's a tool called long division that I can use uh, that is going to uh, help me when I end up with larger bits of division here. So I have x squared minus 2x minus 15 divided by 
x plus 3. And the way that we're going to do these problems, I've actually written it out here for another question, is I'm going to write down what I'm dividing by, x plus 3, and then I'm going to draw a little line box type thing, and then write in what I am dividing. And now I'm going to follow these four steps that I've written on the right-hand side over here. And I'm always going to write these four steps. If I see long division type stuff, I'm going to write divide, multiply, subtract, bring down to remind myself of the steps I have to do to solve this problem, to do this division. So divide means I'm going to divide the number here, the biggest number here, so oh, the x here, into the biggest thing here. So I have x divides into x squared. So I have x squared divided by x. That's just going to leave me with x. So divide is my first step. I divide my biggest power of x here into the biggest power of x here, and I end up with x. x divided by x divided into x squared is x. Next is multiply. So I take this x that I've just gotten, and I multiply it by both of these things that I'm dividing in. So x multiplied by x will give me x squared, and I write it underneath here. x multiplied by a plus 3 is going to give me plus 3x. The next step is subtract. So now I'm going to subtract these two things away from each other. So I'm taking away. I draw them in, in a different color to remind myself that I'm taking away. So x squared minus x squared is just 0. And minus 2x minus 3x. Well, I start at minus 2 and I take away 3. So I end up down at, I get colder and I end up down at minus 5x. That's my subtraction done. And the last bit is bring down. So I have my minus 15 here, and I'm going to bring that down. And this becomes my new line that I'm working with. Now the whole cycle starts again. x divides into minus 5x. So I have minus 5x divided by x. That's just going to give me minus 5. So I divide that in. x divides into minus 5x minus 5 times. And then minus 5 gets multiplied, that's my next step, multiplied by each of these things and written underneath. So minus 5 by x is minus 5x. And minus 5 by 3 gives me minus 15. Next step is subtract. But this subtraction is a little bit funny because I'm taking away negative numbers. Well, if I have a minus by a minus, that really means a plus. And a minus by a minus is a plus. So subtracting the negatives is like adding. So I have minus 5x plus 5x gives me 0. And minus 15 plus 15 gives me 0. And that's my division done. My way of knowing that I didn't make any mistake in this type of question is to end up with 0, 0 down here. And this is the result of my division. So if I've divided in x plus 3, I got an answer of x minus 5. So my answer is equal to x minus 5, the thing that I wrote up on top here. So let's put that into practice twice more to get some more practice with our method. So again, if I see a question like this, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. I'm always going to write that down on the top of my page. And I'm going to follow on through my steps. So divide. 2x divided by 2x squared. can do that over here. 2x squared and divide in 2x. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Uh, and x squared divided by x is x. So I just get x as an answer up here. That's my divide done. Next is multiply. x multiplied by 2x is 2x squared. x multiplied by minus 5 is minus 5x. 
Next step is subtract. So I take away 2x squared, and I take away minus 5x. And because I'm taking away a negative, it's the same as adding. That's why I have my little blue plus there. So I add these together, and I get 2x squared minus 2x squared is 0. And minus x plus 5x is 4x. So plus 4x. And then my final step is uh, bring down. So I'm bringing down my minus 10. Next, the whole cycle starts again. So 2x divides into 4x. So 4x divided by 2x. Uh, 4 divided by 8, 2 is 2. x divided by x is 1. So I'm just left with 2. So I have plus 2, I write up here, plus 2 multiplied by uh, 2x is 4x, 2 multiplied by minus uh, 5 is minus 10. I need to subtract them. Subtracting a negative is the same as adding. And when I add them together, I get 0, 0. So my answer then is equal to x plus 2. And finally, Following the same steps again, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. I have 3x divided into 3x squared. 3x squared divided by 3x. 3 divided by 3 is 1. x squared divided by x is x. So I end up with x here. Multiply, x multiplied by 3x is 3x squared. x multiplied by a plus 2 is plus 2x. Subtract. Same steps as always, subtract, uh, and I end up with 0 and minus 3x. Bring down in minus 2, and start the whole process over again. Uh, so I have 3x divides into minus 3x, so minus 3x divided by 3x. I have a minus divided by a plus is going to give me a minus, and 3 divided by 3 is 1, and x divided by x is 1. So minus 1 is my answer. So multiply. That's my divide done. So multiply minus 1 by 3x is minus 3x. Minus 1 by a plus 2 is minus 2. Subtract. Minus a minus is a plus. Minus a minus is a plus. I add these together, I get 0, 0. So my answer then is what is written up on top here. Is equal to x minus 1. Now the long division has lots of steps in it and can be difficult to get used to. But we can see from these three examples that every single question is exactly the same in its method. There's no surprises in long division. It's always done exactly the same way. So when we get used to following our steps of divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down, long division isn't too bad. But it does take a little while to get used to. So that's what we need for our division where algebra is involved.